Sure. Well, the good news is you don't have to break the bank to cheer on the lightning, that is for sure. No, you do not. You can reserve a spot in Thunder Alley, which is right behind us, for just $5. Now, it is sold out for tonight which means we will have a packed house here. Our Justin Shecker is out talking with some of the fans who are trickling in ahead of game one. And it, it, this atmosphere here in Thunder Alley is so fun, Justin, but I think it's only going to amp up from here. That's right, Josh and Jen. Good afternoon to you both. The crowd is growing here in Thunder Alley, seeing lots of bolts blue and fans wearing their lightning jerseys. There's always an electric atmosphere out here in Thunder Alley, but not much can compare to the excitement of a Stanley Cup final game, and especially this year with the fans back in the building and the bolts looking to keep the cup here in Champa Bay. With their team four wins away from hoisting Lord Stanley's Cup, Bolts fans are ready to be the Thunder. I'm very confident about our Lightning, um, but at the same time, you know, it is Stanley Cup. We're both here to play the game. It's going to be an intense game, and I'm excited to see what happens, you know. Hopefully the big cat comes out and does his job, and we'll come out with the W. James Halloran from Wesley Chapel will be wearing his Vazzy jersey at the Game 1 watch party in Thunder Alley. The at atmosphere is going to be pretty jumping just because of the fact that everything's getting opened up with COVID and everybody wants to come out and support their team and have a good time. Unlike in 2020, when the Bolts won the Cup in front of no fans in Canada because of COVID-19, they will skate in at least two home games with an increased capacity of 16,300 fans in Emily Arena. I was a hockey mom for many years, so I do like the sport. Eight on your side caught up with a couple from Fort Myers that has tickets for tonight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, to have back-to-back... You know, Stanley Cup appearances and, uh, you know, have a winning tradition like that. It's going to be uh, great for future generations, too. What would it mean for Tampa Bay to hoist this cup back-to-back -back years? Uh, it will say a lot to the NHL, the, the staffing and the coaching and the players and stuff like that. Most of all, the fans. We got rowdy fans up in the, in the, in the arena over there.